Right, I uh, I bought a uh, solar panel uh, decking uplighter. I think is what it was uh, mentioned on the packaging. Uh, but uh, I've noticed that uh, it looks like only one of them is actually a solar panel, and the other one's a piece of cardboard that looks like a solar panel. I'm uh, I'm just going to uh, switch this on there and then turn the lights out so you can see it working right I've switched it on now and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, turn the lights out to see if it works yeah it's definitely come on and uh, now I'm going to disassemble it uh, see how it works right I've uh, taken the six screws out the back um, Hopefully this just drops apart as it has, which is quite nice. They, uh, oh, that's the little rubber that goes over the uh, switch uh, to make it IP rating still, so uh, it's weatherproof. And uh, let's have a look. There seems to be another couple of screws, uh, a battery, and uh, some kind of board. The legs of an LED. Uh, I'm taking this as a dual thief circuit, and this is just basically an on and off switch. I'm just going to uh, disassemble it further. It does turn out right that. Uh uh, the glass one there you can see reflection on is a solar panel and uh, the other one is some kind of just a sticker to make it look like it's uh, got more power than it has I suppose <laughs> now uh, we need to just have a little look at the circuitry well I've uh, yeah, pushed out the fake bit of glass of which was meant to be the second solar panel and uh, got a little look and uh, the uh, the battery that's in it is a uh, 1.2 volt uh, 400 milliamp that could come useful but, yeah especially if you had about 10 of them because you'd have a uh, good 12 volt 400 milliamp battery, a very small size that's rechargeable. But yeah, but apart from that, it's got like a, a chip that's on board, and if you have a look on the other side, uh, you've got, I don't know if you can see, a little inductor there that obviously ramps the voltage up being uh, over three volts to uh, to power it the uh, I'm assuming that the, uh, the circuit works by when that get covers up the uh, the light comes on so it acts both as a solar cell and a sensor yeah uh, let's have a try that Yep, seems correct. So uh, let's disassemble a bit more so it's just uh, bare bones. So we've taken the LED out now and uh, got the uh, solar panel face down. So it's definitely the uh, solar panel of which is uh, uh, enabling us to have the light on or off. So we'll just uh, take the solar panel out now as well. I've managed to disassemble it all now and uh, uh, we know that this solar cell is capable with this circuit to uh, charge a 1.2 400mAh battery. Put my finger on it. slightly on it flickers it's 
switch we know there's uh, some kind of pulsing going on there earlier when I said that this was a uh, 1.2 400 uh, milliamp battery uh, it's actually a 40 milliamp battery but uh, uh, it could still be quite useful if the uh, you had uh, 10 of them together but anyway thanks for watching